from here we will talk about differential settings and how to tune it i would bring them all down to the lowest it can this is going to make the car very sensitive to steering inputs and you're not going to be hooking up too too well when you get on it but regardless you got to try it drop it all and which one you're going to start with is acceleration sensitivity after you find you get used to the car you see how it drives max this out see how it drives after that um this is gonna make both tires spin this is basically a 60 to 40 percent ratio of power doesn't ever do truly 50 but yeah, lower settings are better for turning. Higher settings are better when you have higher power and you come out of the corner, you floor it. One tire is going to be spinning and you're going to not really be accelerating as good as you can. Higher settings here will get you that acceleration, though you do need good throttle control because this can easily throw you into a wall. So what I would do here is I would max this and start going down by increments of 10 until you find a manageable position. 30 is a pretty good number for this, but some cars I have run 50, 60. Once you have that figured out, you're going to jump to braking sensitivity because these go hand in hand. This is when you're on throttle. This is when you're off throttle and or braking. So now you have this good for coming out of corners. This is going to be your going into the corner. You know, generally you're braking. So as soon as you have this acceleration number set, I would just match, mirror your braking sensitivity. Go take it out for a spin. It's going to make it very predictable. These do create some understeer, but it's going to make your throttle inputs match your braking inputs. So, you know, if you feel you need more turning than braking, start dropping this down by 10, fives or tens, you know, and... You know, if you feel like your your braking is, you know, you want it to uh, brake straighter, go up by 10. It's as simple as that. You can even go up the max. Some cars need it, and I like the Porsches. But, yeah, that's that. The torque is when you're going around, say, a left corner or whatever corner, your outside tire that's traveling the most distance, this adds more power to it. Most of the times I like this setting, you know, low, but you should try it low and then max to get the feel of how it affects your car because it affects every car differently. Four-wheel drives generally like higher numbers on these. It, it can make your car oversteer, but if you have too much of it, it makes the rear slide. So I would just try to start this from low and do it in increments of 10. And then eventually you're going to find a spot that's like, all right, 25 is pretty good. Let me try 35, 35. All right, you know what? I'm not able to control the car. Let me try 30. So do it in increments of 10, then backpedal in increments of 5, and you'll find your sweet spot.